Hey, welcome back to the book of Philippians. This morning we're in chapter 3 and verse 9. So uh, listen with me as we listen to verse 9, and then we'll just talk about it for a minute. Now, we talked about in verse 8, being in Christ, suffering all things, uh, letting all things be nothingness to him for gaining Christ. And he goes on and he says, And be found in him, that I may gain Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. So we want to be found in Jesus, right? And how do we do that? Well, the very first thing is we cannot come with any of our own righteousness. We can't come with a list of our good, so-called good deeds and say, God, look, I've, I've been in the church for 20 years, you know, you, you have to accept me. Uh, I, I helped these three people over here be baptized. You have to accept me. Uh, I gave up I gave up this terrible uh, practice over here. You've got to accept me. None of, the, none of those things are currency with God. We want to be found in him not having my own righteousness. So nothing I give up, so to speak, for him. Nothing, none of that counts. I can't bring that and say, all right, I'm paying you. This is, uh, these are the good things I've given up for you. Now you give me eternal life. It's not the way it works, right? And be found in him not having my own righteousness. Some of us have some little residual righteousness, or maybe we think that since we've become a Christian and we've given up some more stuff. Uh, I, oh yeah, after I, I also found out I should give up this, 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 and I gave them all up. And we think that somehow we have, you know, earned, you know, a couple of points in there somewhere. We have none of our own righteousness. We have none of our own righteousness, he says, which is from the law, which is, you know, obeying everything up to the letter. And wow, looks like I'm there. I'm awesome. If you ever feel that way, you've, you've probably lost it, right? But he goes on to say, but the righteousness which is through faith in Christ, that is our righteousness. It is Jesus' goodness that we, were, that we accept by faith. That is my goodness. My goodness isn't my goodness. My goodness is that I accept Jesus' goodness, you see? And that's how I have righteousness. And then, of course, in my life, I'll be wanting to live, live out God's way. But that won't earn me anything. And that's one thing that Paul is, is addressing in this section of verses here. He wants the Philippians to know, and he wants you and me to know, we're not saved by anything we do. We're not saved by any good thing that we sort of think we've done. It says here, be, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. So you see, we're saved by trusting in Jesus. Is that too complicated? Is that, is that too complicated? It is too complicated for the heart that wants to say, look, don't I, get, don't I get 50 points for doing this? For that heart, it's too complicated. I'm telling you, it's very simple. I give up everything for Jesus. Jesus gave up his life at the cross for me. And it's just that simple. I then can have his righteousness and go in his way. I will be his servant. He will be my God. It's a covenant. And I join with him in that covenant, and I trust in Jesus. And that's how you and I are saved by faith in Christ. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we are rejoicing today that you've worked out a way of salvation that every single breathing human person can embrace if they only will. Lord, help us to be true to Jesus. Help us to not begin to add up and try to score or think that somehow we're more righteous because we gave up some more stuff, or we're more righteous because we, we did this, or we're more righteous because we didn't do that. So Lord, help us, help us to have the right perspective. Before the law, before the cross of Jesus, Lord, we are all uh, guilty sinners. We've all sinned and come short of your glory, and none of us brings anything to the table except that we can trust in Jesus through faith and then bring Jesus' own character to you as our righteousness. Lord, may that be true for us. Bless each listener today and help us to be clear about the way of salvation that is imprinted in Scripture. May it be also imprinted in our lives, and we ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. So the Lord will be with you and me as Christ. Christ is our righteousness. God be with you today.